We are here with Bowling Green State University Gymnastics head coach Carrie Turner, just 48 hours away from the Mid-American Conference Gymnastics Championships on Saturday at the Stroh Center. Uh, coach, this will be your second time hosting the MAC Championships. Uh, Bowling Green hosted way back in 2010. So tell us, does this, um, having that experience, uh, help you at all this weekend? Absolutely. Having been through a MAC championship before is always helpful. Um, however, we'll be in the Stroh Center, which I also think is to our advantage. Um, but we will certainly learn from that experience seven years ago, and uh, we've updated many items to make sure it's an even better championship this time around. Now, obviously, none of your athletes were around back in 2010. So what does uh, your experience um, of having the championships at home back in 2010 uh, help you prepare them for what will be like on Saturday? Well, really, some of the biggest changes are, of course, we'll be in a situation where we have corrals set up, and that's something we don't have all year. The team's really going to be set a little bit away from the event, so we're practicing that um, every day here, all week long, making sure the athletes are ready to handle that, um, and just understanding the excitement of when it's a home event for us, you know, having our crowd there, so many of our alumni coming back, and of course, hopefully our student body comes out in full force. Uh, that is a really special moment when you get to host the MAC championship and have all that excitement around you and just the support from the, you know, BGSU community and, and the local community as well. Now the meet will have kind of a big meet feel uh, as it will be televised live on BCSN. It will also be nationally seen on ESPN3. Uh, so how do you think that will help uh, not only your program but the MAC in general? Well, the MAC is looking very strong, and really we've had a great uh, few years leading up to this, and there's no doubt that this meet is going to come down to tenths. Any any team could win it, and I think that's important for the nation, you know, especially the gymnastics community across the nation, um, and, and for, of course for our international students around the world to see what great gymnastics is going on in the MAC and the high level of gymnastics. Um, and so we're really excited to be able to just showcase the incredible skill level of the athletes uh, and just how precise they are at executing their routines. All right, now unfortunately, um, I think, uh, you know, we're all aware that uh, the chances of getting back to the regionals this year have kind of, you know, gone out the window. So um, what are you looking for this weekend uh, from a team perspective uh, following last year's third place finish at the Max? Well, really, I've talked to them about the fact that this is really going to be our last opportunity to be the 2017 BGSU gymnastics team. And, and this is a chance to really define the season. We've had a really up and down year. We've really struggled on uneven bars all year. But uh, they, we've also had magical moments at times. And if if they're willing to put the work in all week and, and really focus in at, at the MAC championships, they could define our season, you know, with the top three finishes finish or win and and that's what we're focused on is is just doing the best we can on Saturday. How have practices gone this week? Practice has been good. The team is really excited about hosting the championship and getting to be in the Stroh Center. Um, I think they're focused and ready. Um, we've really been just keeping them uh, focused on small details, performing under pressure, uh, handling the corral situation, uh, and just getting all those final little details ready to go. Now, the All-MAC teams were released yesterday. Uh, Giovanna East, uh, our fantastic freshman, uh, was first team All-MAC. Uh, Lauren Feely, um, uh, one of our three seniors, was second team All-MAC. Uh, for Giovanna, she was the first freshman uh, to be first team All-MAC since 2015. Um, you know, what uh, is your impression as to how she's adjusted to life at Bowling Green and uh, her, you know, collegiate gymnastics career? Well, Giovanna's just been a really cool character in, in competition, and, and she trains and competes very similarly. Um, she's just been able to really handle the adjustment to collegiate gymnastics um, with, with total ease, and it's just been a seamless transition for her. Um, and it's exciting. I mean, it's exciting to see her go out there and perform so well under pressure. Um, and I, th I think she just really knows how to handle the nerves of competition. So this is really, we're just, on the cusp of what she's uh, able to do so I'm excited that she was recognized this year but will continue to grow as a collegiate student-athlete um, over the next few years as well. 
And with Lauren, this is her third time uh, being on one of the All Mac teams. Um, but I think that perhaps this time might be the most special because uh, she struggled so much uh, coming back from an injury uh, last fall. Uh, tell us uh, what her journey uh, has been like this year. You know, Lauren really, really has defied the odds. You know, she she saw the doctor in the fall and went with her to that appointment, and it really wasn't looking good with her injury, and we knew she was going to have to take significant amount of time off this fall. Um, and, and she was so hungry to come back after winning the all-around title at the MAC championship last year. You know, she just didn't want to settle at all, and we really worked on mental training skills during that time so that when she was cleared, she was able to really jump back in. And that's what she did. We had to really take a slow, uh, sort of very calculated progression through to get her back into all the events. You know, we kind of just started with vault and had to work our way back in. And what what an excellent, excellent job by her to get back into the all around and, you know, win the all around title last weekend, going into Max this weekend. Um, she's just phenomenal. And all along, She's student teaching, so she is pretty much working a full-time job, coming in training and handling all of these challenges and really using them in a positive way. So she, she really re deserved that, that, that recognition. So going into the meet, um, if you had one message uh, for the fans that will be coming out to the Stroh Center on Saturday, what would it be? be loud, <laughs> you know, get on your feet, get excited about what's going on, understand that it's a collegiate sporting event. We expect the fans to be cheering the athletes on uh, with great sport, sportsmanship, you know, make it a positive environment. But mostly we want to we want to hear those BG chants, the whole meet. And uh, we're hoping it's a great experience really for all the team's fans. All right, well, the MAC championships are Saturday at 2 p.m. at Bowling Green Stroh Center. Good luck this weekend, Coach, and roll along. Thanks, and go Falcons.